In January 2010, FINRA issued Regulatory Notice 1006, providing guidance on rules governing communications with the public to social media sites. Since its publication, firms have raised additional questions regarding these rules. In August 2011, FINRA came out with Notice 1139 that responds to these questions. The most important questions will be covered in this video. Which social media sites need to be preserved? SEC 17A4B requires broker-dealers to preserve all social media records for a period of not less than three years. The first two in an easily accessible place. This includes Twitter, Facebook, Google+, YouTube, LinkedIn, as well as blogs and forums. There's no limitation. A rule of thumb is, as soon as people have the ability to respond to your posts, it's considered social media. Do we need to preserve our website? Yes, under NASD Rule 2210 and SEC Rule 17A4, publicly available websites, banner advertisements, and forums are considered advertisements. Your websites need to be preserved for a period of three years from the date of last use. To put it really simple, anything that you post on your website, social media, blogs, must be captured and preserved. Is supervision required? NASD Rule 3010 requires each firm to supervise the activities of each employee. Think about blogs, social media accounts of reseller agents or other business relations that resell your broker products. The firm may approve use of the site only if the designated person complies with all FINRA and SEC rules. The firm must review each new social media site before its launch. Incoming data feeds. Firms must adopt procedures to manage data feeds that are loaded into their own websites. Think about news feeds, RSS feeds, ticker information, etc. There have been several cases where firms used data feeds that contained inaccurate information. Firms must be familiar with the proficiency of the vendor of the data and its ability to provide data that is accurate as it was at the time it was presented on the firm's website. Links to third-party sites. Firms should not publish a link to any third-party site that the firm knows to contain false or misleading information. Additionally, a firm is responsible under NASD Rule 2210 for content on a linked third-party site if the firm has adopted, helped develop, or endorsed its content. This is particularly interesting when it comes to social media. About 30% of every post on Twitter or Facebook contains a link to a third-party web page. This linked web page may be changed or removed in the next three years. Therefore, it is advisable to also automatically retain the web page that the post links to, so that you have an accurate archive of what information you did or did not endorse. Solutions like Page Freezer capture both social media posts and all the outgoing links that you use in your posts. Co-branded third-party websites. A firm that co-brands any part of a third-party site, such as by placing the firm's logo prominently on the site, is responsible for the content of the entire site because FINRA considers the firm to have adopted the content of that site. A firm is responsible under NASD Rule 2210 for content on a linked third-party site if the firm has adopted or become entangled with its content. Also be aware that this includes third-party web forums as they're considered to be part of the definition of public appearance under NASD Rule 2210. Summary. To summarize this FINRA guidance, a firm needs to capture and preserve for a period of three years social media accounts, blogs, data feeds, forums, corporate websites, co-branded third-party websites, and links to external web pages that you endorse. Most important, if you're in the process of selecting software, look for a solution that can capture everything. Social media, blogs, feeds, websites, and forums. PageFreezer.com is such a comprehensive solution. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it informative. Please visit us at PageFreezer.com.